your sea note yet done? Yeah, I'm just checking a couple of bits. Cool. How can you got camera on me? Oh, it's just a GoPro. How much is your DS stuff, please? Um, it's, let's see, it's yeah. £7. Um, okay. From, it worked, but I'm hinge broken. Okay. Everything with that. Alright, I'll just have a look. I've already bought that one. Uh, are these prices labelled, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might have two quid, I'll have a look. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just take that one, chairs. Thank you. You got any change for five at all? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, chairs. Amateur films, please. Pardon? Amateur films. Um, which one? Fox sets or um, Blu rays? That one? Lights out? Uh, two quid. Okay. You do a quid on it? No? Okay. Do 150. Yeah, I'll do 150. So quick, okay. Yeah, it's 150 that blue ray. Thank you. Thank you. Have <laughs> <laughs> two games, please. Five, okay. Yeah, I'll take that one, Chase. Have you got any games or anything to go with the dance mat? Uh, 
Oh, is there some over there? Let's have a look. But I don't think there's any dance things or anything. Okay. I'm going to try your games, please. Um, what did I say? I don't know. I don't know that one. Yeah. Um, I say, they're a pound each, then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation... I say £2, wasn't it? £2 the PlayStation. PS2s? PS2s, yeah. Okay. Do three quid for these? How much? Three? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cheers, thank you. Thank you. You got a bag, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it should be three there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. What's the fucking phone you boot? How much is your guitar hero, please? Um, two quid. Okay. Let's have a little look. You got any other games or anything? We've only got steering wheel on the... Uh, wheel on okay, no worries. <laughs> Cheers. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for having me on video. All right. No, you're not, not on it, don't worry. <laughs> got any? Yeah, you. Yeah, good, thank you. I can't believe it. I just come home and it I know. It, honestly, it was, there was loads even at, like, gone five. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'll come home now, really. What? Full field already. <laughs> it's ace, isn't it? Right. You have tomorrow? Yeah, I am, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be it. Where's that, sorry? I'm not sure. Is that Linden Club yeah, or. Linden yeah. Club, yeah. yeah, I was going to nip there. What time does it start? Six. Oh, six. It's a leather, real leather. Don't forget your games, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Cheers. How much are the plates? I have no idea. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I ain't been through them yet. Pick out a couple of them. I don't know if they, they've got games in or what. Okay. So. Uh, i just... Right. Pop on there, so...
Did you do two quid? Uh, three pounds. Yeah, go on, I'll do three. You got change for five at all plates? Uh, I have, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot, Ty. Yeah, I'll take them two chairs, thank you. There you go. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, have a Cheers. Time. Xbox games, mate. Uh, 50 each. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a pretty big tank box. Um, 50ph. Um, what gold? I don't remember. That's right. We have a lot of fibre. 50ph. There you go, mate. Cheers, love. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> How much are games, please? Oh, yeah. What about that one? Oh, sorry. That Borderlands one? Um, Fiverr. Fiverr. Okay, cheers. How much are these plates? Your games? A couple of quid. Okay. Just popped it for a bit hammered, that's all. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you do that for a quid because I haven't got the game with it? Yeah, whatever. Well, yeah. Would you do that for quid as well? It's two pounds. Is it two? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not quite right. So three quid. Yeah. There you go, thank you. Yeah, Cheers. Do you know how much it's got on these games? It's coming. <laughs> Do you know how much you got on them games? Which ones? The two Sonics? Yeah. Um, three each. Okay, no worries. Cheers. Does that thing work? Yeah, it works absolutely fine, right. cheers, yeah, it's yeah, spot on, cool. thank you. Yeah, cool. I'll be back in a minute anyway, ta.
come to that place? Pound. Pound. We do 50 pigs, it's just the CD. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah? Fine. Cheers, mate. There you go, mate. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, thank you. How much are your games, please? 50 okay. How much? No, what? Turn it around. Oh. Yeah, two pounds. Two pounds? Yeah. It's nice. Just take that one, chairs. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Do you buy weed? Weed? Yeah, yeah. Okay, man, uh, here's 20. Yeah. Follow me. Okay. How much is this one, please, mate? Eight quid. Eight. Demo discs, these ones. Uh, one pound each. Okay. Are you doing both for a pound? Uh, one fifty. One fifty. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Two games, please. Two pounds. Take it. 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 Take Yeah. Oh yeah, I've already got that one. Yeah. Games that you've got there. Got a wall. Right? I don't even that. Can it? Did you get it from here? Because I was just looking, so it's got some Japanese writing on, or is it just. No, no I they took it from here. It's what, sorry? Game. You got it from game? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'll grab this one for now, Tav. I've literally got the rest of them. You Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Got all the Call of Duty's, got Red Dead. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Cheers. Are you right? Yeah, you got any other bits you haven't put out yet? Or? Not today, no. No? no. Is, are they all sold? Or? Yes, that okay, is. Okay, yeah. no worries. Yeah. yeah, that's gone. It's coming back for it. So. Okay, so everything you've got is all, all out, yeah? Whatever's on there, that's it yeah. today. Yeah, that's no worries. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, you see me? Yeah, uh, yeah, I've seen you. Oh, I collect games, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a YouTuber too. Oh, yeah? Oh, nice. <laughs> what do you collect? Just a bit of everything? Uh, just everything, oh, not games, called. no. Not yeah. That's him. That's him. Oh, right, cool. If you have a look at her videos, you'll see my games. See you later. Oh, really? You are, What's you YouTube? Right? No. My, my YouTube is, is uh, such yeah. life. Such, such as life. life. Is it all one word? It's like got... A bit like Oh yeah. Dashes. Oh, that's a lot. So you just a bit of everything. I just whatever I find, I just pop on my YouTube channel. Bam, this fifty p. Bam, this fifty. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice. She's got a GoPro on. So it must be YouTuber. Yeah, I'm holster TV on YouTube. I, I, know, I know you are. <laughs> I've been looking at your YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought, ooh, I may be able to get some tips off it. <laughs> yeah, I go to my local in the morning. Then this one, yeah. obviously afternoon. So, oh, is that car boots? Yeah. Don't yeah, it's usually just weekends I manage to. Um, so, is this one running tomorrow, isn't it? I yes. think. Yeah, same time. Yeah, same holiday, time. So, um, You've got three days. Oh, nice one. What's that today? Come on. I don't think it was off here. Oh, why was he bought it? I think it was off here. I think it was bought yeah. three from here today, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you've got the Amstrad. Literally. C CPC. I've got a ton of tapes this morning. I can't remember what I've got. Like. We bought two, pay two pounds for the lot. I've got, I know, nobody game. wants them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you bought a Wii, you sold it. As soon as you put it on Facebook, you sold it, bum gone. Yeah, you bought the whole lot with loads of games, Mario and things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my room's so overcrowded. You only see a portion of it on my videos, but my room's getting like that. <laughs> How much are these ones, please? 50 50 Cool. Yeah, I'll have them, thank you. You were looking at that V2 back then, weren't you? Yeah, look weird. It's from the telly series. He ain't got me trained enough yet for games. Is that make sure you look and I'm gonna oh, I don't know. There's <laughs> always train. You know, train some of those here and there. I like the makeup, that's my thing. Like there you go, cheers. Thank you, very much. Thank you. You never know, you say if you keep coming each week to do yeah. something different somewhere on the How much was your DSs? Which one? That 3DS? Yeah. Um, 13. Yeah. Oh it's a three one, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice. He though. bought one, was it? No, I bought two DSs. Five yeah, oh, not bad. I'll see you in a bit. Nice to meet you. Yeah. See you later. See you in a bit. Grab that place. Yeah, Cheers. There you go. Cheers. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Cheers. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you do five on this one? No. No. Okay. No worries. Really quick one, guys. So, got that MM uh, CD for like 20p. So, now I've been a straight up G and listening to it on the way home. So, yeah, I've not got a professional stand for that or anything. So, just quickly talking to you while I'm just literally going across the gravelly bit. I'm not on a road or anything. 
so yeah um, I look awful by the way because I'm about to like head off to work and everything so I look really bad but yeah time to be a straight up G and listen to the new Eminem CD let's go what is going on guys and welcome back to the latest what is going on guys and welcome <laughs> What is going on guys and welcome to the latest car boot video game hunting and pickups video. So after watching this, um, what is going on guys and welcome to the latest car boot sales. Fucking Jesus Christ. It's going to be one of them videos, isn't it? What is going on guys and welcome to the latest live car boot video game hunting and pickups video. We're back in the gaming cave to show you everything I picked up from the Sunday car boots. We've got the NES Pursuit on in the background, um, Pixel Game Squad, wicked YouTube channel which I watch. I like having the videos on in the background because it just makes the gaming cave even more gaming cavey, having all that lot in, on in the background. So um, yeah, we'll start this on a negative, shall we? Because obviously you guys would have seen the thumbnail and I know that you guys would have seen the thumbnail. You guys know that I know that you've seen the thumbnail before you start watching the video. So yeah, um, Nightmare CEX trip, Nightmare. So it, this isn't like an actual rant to say everyone boycott CEX, let's just not go there, whatever. You know I adore CEX, it's just sometimes they really get on your tits, they really do. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm just saying it how it is because they're, they're really boring me. But yeah, I had a bit of a Nightmare trip there. Um, so I've still got some of... The last videos pickups here because they didn't take them so we'll go through why they didn't take them okay so firstly got that really nice razor keyboard didn't i for like um i think it was like two quid cx give 23 pound um in store credit for it but for some reason they were saying 20 i just kind of settled for that i just thought i'll let them test it and then i'll just talk to them about it whatever because i saw 23 online but i think it can kind of depend what grade it is but i'm not sure so yeah 20 might have been right anyway but still some nice trade credit to be had here. So they tested it. Works absolutely fine. They give me it back. And I don't know. I should have just challenged this in store. I don't know why I didn't. But there was like. Um, oh we can't take it in. Because the keys are, are like sticky. Or a bit sticky or something. And I was like. I just accepted it there. And then I was just kind of like. Oh okay whatever. And uh, I thought. I've already given it a clean up. Like with baby wipes and everything. I removed the original like stickers that were on it. Baby wiped it. But maybe I just didn't do it enough. But. Yeah, when I got home, I was pressing the keys and there is nothing wrong with them. Honestly, like, I, I just, need I even say any more? It's just absolutely, the keys are all fine to press. So, brought this back for no reason. I mean, <clears throat> I have to be careful what I say, to be fair, on these videos. Because it's pretty crazy. A lot of people locally are starting to watch these. I don't know how people are finding me whatsoever. But, yeah, I've been... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, going up in the uh, old uh, YouTube car booty world a little bit. Still a tiny, tiny channel, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I actually got recognised um, three times <laughs> this past weekend's car boot. I'll get onto that in a bit. Absolute, absolutely humbling being recognised. Honestly, it's an absolute pleasure to talk to people. It really is. But yeah, um, so I'm not like making digs at any individual staff members or whatever like that. Because I, I don't know if any of them like see my videos or whatever. Some of them might watch them or whatever i don't know but yeah these aren't like digs at particular staff members it's just literally you know a bit of a rant about cx in general so yeah they didn't take this in they didn't take one of my controllers in um because it has a rattling sound um and i absolutely it absolutely does not it just has when you get a controller when you've had it just a little while it just naturally gets a rattling sound it's nothing like really bad i don't know if you guys can hear it but i'll shake it right next to the controller you can't literally can't even hear it I, I look like an absolute idiot right now but see if you guys can hear it that's literally i can hear it. it's ever so ever so faint nothing wrong with it at all it's absolutely you know and I didn't even challenge them in CEX for this either because as they handed me it back, obviously you have all bloody Bring Me The Horizon Screamo music, all that lot, you know what I mean? It's like downloading there. You have all your Screamo music playing so you can't hear. I think that's why they do it on purpose, actually. They put Screamo on on purpose so you can't hear, can they? That's what it is. I know your game. So, yeah, you have all your bloody Screamo going off and all that. So I couldn't... I just accepted it. I thought, all right, brought it home and I was just like, what the f... What? <laughs> really and um yeah so obviously at the time in store i wouldn't have really noticed because i wouldn't have heard it <laughs> so yeah had to bring this back which is really annoying uh what else have we got 
these are the games which um, have been rejected, which is really annoying. Um, only like very minor scratches and everything. Um, before I move on to these, I'll just quickly make a point of something. Traded uh, all the other bits in for some nice CEX credit. Um, I think I got about got about something about 140 ish or something like that. I should have got about 200 really, but yeah, I come away with like 140 credit. Saw this in the window and I just thought it was just a quid and it's uh, like an accessory for the OG Xbox. So it is. It's just like the OG Xbox DVD remote and like the receiver thing. So it was only a quid, so I just thought I really wanted it just to just put next to my OG Xbox. Nice little accessory, right? So I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this, but brought it home. Take it out of the bag and it's like, you can so <laughs> hear that rattle. Listen to this, guys. Can you hear it? So damn annoying. Like, they will not take that control room, but this got traded in. Like, are you kidding me? It's crazy. Like, they're so inconsistent. But, yeah, really annoying. Um, but I'm still keeping it because I can live with it. I, I can still live with it, you know. It's not going to just start rattling in the night, is it? And then I think it's like Michael Myers coming through the door or something. Uh, but, yeah, these ones. So, it was said about a couple of them, um, there was like overlapping scratches. That's what my thumbnail's about. That's what the, you know, the upside down game disc. So you can see you've got Tony Hawk, like, bloody skating and grinding over it, you know, doing his nose grinds and whatever. Got Michael Myers slashing it up. I thought, you know, I'll, I'll show it in the thumbnail and all that, because that's what we obviously do to these games before we take them in, don't we? But yeah, um, really annoying, man. Uh, yeah, they said... Uh, these have got too many scratches on whatever and then there's a few of them that have very minor surface scratches and i was i was literally looking at them like this and yeah they said we can't take them in if they have overlapping scratches because if two scratches overlap it makes the scratch deeper what are you are you for real like who even came up with that i'm honestly i do not buy that at all i really don't buy that at all have any of you guys please have you been told this in your local cex's i just i just can't i just don't understand so yeah that's my cx ranting i'm not gonna carry on anymore because i don't want to add negative vibes to such a badass pickups video so yeah that's my little cx rant because obviously you guys know that i play the cx roulette i win sometimes i get some really nice minty games for box prices you know i trade in loads of car boot fodder come out with gold I wouldn't be without CEX, you know, it really massively helps my collection, as it does your, loads of your guys, I'm sure, loads of you guys' collections. Um, so yeah, it's just a little rant, just to say that I had a nightmare trip to CEX, and this is why I've still got last week's trade fo fodder dotted about, it's really annoying, man. But yeah, we'll have a laugh about it, and we move on, you know what I mean, I'll take them back another time, because um, they said they'll take the keyboard in, um, they just said we haven't got time to clean it and it's like so i've just got to give it like another clean or something take it in again to be tested and then they'll take it in it's like yeah it, cx has just been a ball like recently for me but anyway i did place an order this morning with some of the credit so with that trade credit that i accumulated the trade credit I actually managed to get <laughs> um yeah i ordered a couple of games uh, on cx online and they will be here soon so you will see them in a future pickups video they're um yeah they're not cheapish games they're uh medium like hitters really yeah they're not cheap so uh yeah some really nice titles so fingers crossed they will turn up complete in box anyway otherwise returns will have to be made and we'll have to play the cx roulette again so yeah cx rant over praying to god that no local cx staff watch my videos on a regular basis because then they'll see this rant and then it will make my next in-store experience mega awkward we can all have bad CEX experiences, but we we have to just keep grinding on. That's it, guys. So, yeah. Anyway, on to the pickups. Um, I'll show you this just before I show all the car boot pickups. Um, as, as per usual, I do. This is the later, uh, latest issue of Retro Gamer, and it is a Mortal Kombat cover. So, I've not absolutely dived into this yet, but there's a nice little um, guide on stealth games and stuff like that. Mastertronic, 35 years, 35 games, there's stuff like Alex Kidd and Shinobi World, that's another game I would love to pick up. Yeah, there's just a, just a variety, there's just all sorts in there. So, yeah, that is this month's latest issue that I've picked up. So, first car boot, 5am, Wrestlemania, main event, Holster goes in there, and first thing she picks up. Don't think I captured this on the, the GoPro, because it was very early on, and um, it was just about getting light. So it's a little bit too dark to record. So it is Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Troubadour. 
Troubadour? Troubadour? I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, got this for two quid. Um, I think it returns about a tenner in CX, I think. Um, I was considering keeping it, see if I can get into it at all. But unfortunately, it is missing a few cards. So it's got like a, a little pull-out thing. It's got the manual and all that. The cart's nice. But yeah, it does say three limited edition official game cards inside. So I don't know if that's maybe three trading cards or it could be like other limited edition cards so they're not in there unfortunately so yeah i will be trading this in for some profit uh, i did used to um get the odd Yu-Gi-Oh cards as a kid um i didn't know what i was doing with them or what the hell was going on but i just got what is it the blue eyes white dragon and i just thought i was the shit <laughs> yeah i mean everyone had that anyway one is like one of the most common ones or something i think there's some rare variants of it i don't know i'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh expert i had no idea what was going on but yeah, um, the PS1 Yu-Gi-Oh game looks pretty cool. So I wouldn't mind uh, on my travels grabbing that. So PS1 game. This was off uh, Sam and his dad who have their own game stall there. So they did me this for a fiver. It is Battle Arena to Shinden 3. And I did pick up a Battle Arena to Shinden game for um, the Sega Saturn when I was at uh, Doncaster Video Game Market last time. So yeah, it's all really nice and complete. Lovely condition. So I've not played these games so i wouldn't know what they're like but yeah i think they look pretty cool anyway i do love my old school beat em up so i'm sure i will like this uh this is another one i got i think i got this for it was originally labeled at four quid it's nintendogs labrador and friends and i i genuinely was going to offer her two quid i was going to say would you take two quid i thought i doubt she will but yeah she did have it um labeled it four quid and then i was looking at it and she said you can have it for two if you want so for two quid i didn't mind and that's my collection i think it does return like three quid uh trade credit the other like nintendogs variants are a bit better i think um i'm sure like the dalmatian of friends does better i think like the um i remember it was like last year sometime i picked up the 3ds was it i can't remember if it was chihuahua and friends or french bulldog and friends or something got like a ten of uh, trade credit for that but yeah i think this is the weakest of all nintendogs but i don't mind anyway because this is actually for my collection so i've needed it uh this one don't usually buy blu-rays as you know but anything that takes me interest mainly horror movies i've seen this before it is lights out by my guy who does the um conjuring and insidious movies james wan he is brilliant i love movies that um that he directs and stuff it's amazing so really nice. I love them when they've got these um, like these sleeves on them as well. So yeah, I think they wanted two quid, and I said, um, I, I think so. We do one fifty, was it? I think. And then I th I'm sure I got it for one fifty. I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, there's that many pickups, guys. I'm losing track. But but yeah, I've seen this movie before. It is a really cool horror movie. So the main people in the movie are like a brother and sister, and there is a supernatural entity that has a connection to their mother's past. Basically, really cool movie. While I'm here, I have actually got a video. The first time me and my mum watched this movie, um, I actually... Uh, it's really funny because it's called Lights Out. And I actually leant over. I had my phone in one hand. I actually leant over and turned the light out. <laughs> I turned like, the lamp out and she screams. I'll show you the footage right now. It was freaking hilarious. <laughs> this next one, this was a nice little bundle. So I saw some PS1 games. Um, not all of them were like complete. I'm sure there's a couple of other wrestling games, stuff like that. Nothing too special in there. But anyway, this one was complete. So it's WWF Smackdown 2. I have like awesome memories playing this with uh, like a childhood friend uh, who I'm still in touch with. Uh, we played the first and second one loads. I think we played this one the most, Smackdown 2. Got so much love for this game. This one and the first one really enjoyed them on the ps1 absolutely sick that's when wrestling was like literally at its best really was my favorite growing up was the rock um yeah i, I can't remember how old i was i think i must have been about maybe 13 when i went off wrestling because uh yeah it's just not the same nowadays but yeah really good wrestling game this is i love this one can't beat them old um old theme songs and entrances and everything it's absolutely wicked saw a really obscure item i've never seen this before and uh so it is uh, a game wizard for harry potter and the philosopher's stone on ps1 so it's like a cheat thingy 
So there's a thing for infinite health, all spells, house points and all beans. 100% unofficial. Unlock the magic. Game enchantment disc. Um, yeah, really random. So, yeah, it's actually got an old WH Smith sticker for 9 99 on there. I thought I'd keep it on just for nostalgia and whatever. So, yeah, it is actually an action replay cheat master. Not tried it out or anything yet. I'm too badass. I can play that game. I know it like the back of my hand. I don't need any cheats for it. <laughs> Childhood game that was for me. And I actually saw a few magazines. Um, yeah. Wanted these instantly because they've all got San Andreas on the front cover. So what the PSW magazine. And that has an 11 page feature on it as well. So good. I actually read most of the feature on it earlier. It was awesome so nice and it was just so groundbreaking at the time like the reviewers are just amazed it really was a badass game still is it still holds up really well so yeah there's a couple of power station magazines as well so there's just like solutions to obviously the missions there's like more detailed maps secrets cheats in these and then last missions solved inside i don't know what the hardest mission was i'll tell you what i was stuck on supply lines for a while i think that was probably maybe the hardest mission for me i reckon that was a right dreaded mission, that was. So, yeah, really wanted these because they had San Andreas on the cover. So, grab these and then grab them. I think she wanted, like, a quid a game, I think. So, I just said, will you do three quid for this lot? And she said, yeah. So, I thought it was a really cool deal, to be honest. And, yeah, doubt I'm really going to use the uh, the action replay, like, cheat master game wizard, whatever. But I just thought it looked proper cool anyway. So, I've got two Wii Sports together here. Um, I'm sure one of them I got for like 50p and the other one was a quid or something. Anyway, uh, both discs are decent, so be nice uh, trade credit. But I think I'm going to hang on to them because actually the Wii Sports in the cardboard sleeve has gone down to like 3 quid CX trade. Uh, the ones in um, in the actual DVD case, I think that still retains like a fiver. Same with the uh, Wii Sport Resort, uh, pretty much the same price. So yeah, they've actually gone down to like 3 quid, so I think I will most likely be just hanging on to them for a little bit. Same with, um, oh, what was it? The Wii remotes. Um, I don't know what they are right now, but last time I checked, it was, you know, fairly recently. And they've gone down to, like, four quid. And some people have obviously commented and stuff and said keep hold of them. So I do advise you guys to keep hold of them because they will go up. CEX will pay more. It's just because we're obviously into the car boot season and they would have obviously hit the uh, stock levels and whatever. So it would be less trade credit. So, yeah, two games here. The guy wanted three quid. So... I'm sure I don't have this. I'm sure I don't. I can't really remember. I'm going to have to double check because I might have, I might not. I'm not sure. But I thought I'd grab it, obviously, because it's cheap enough. So it's Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Misadventures. So I've never played it before. So if I do have it, I've not got around to playing it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's nice and complete anyway. It was my, and it still is like my favourite cartoon. I absolutely adored this as a kid. It was so funny. Absolutely loved Ed, Ed, and Eddie with the jawbreakers and all that so yeah grab that one and i did originally grab this because i thought there might be money in it and there really isn't <laughs> so it is fantasy star universe there's a bit of jap writing in the middle there i don't know what what that says so i don't speak japanese yet but yeah <laughs> um yeah this is also out on the um dreamcast isn't it like there's a fantasy star online game um not got that not played it or anything so i don't know what these games are like or whatever it does say i'm sure it said yeah it says um online play requires subscription fee i don't know if like you have to play this online i'm not too sure i don't know if there's any offline multiplayer in this so yeah it was originally for cx but i'm sure they only give up some like one pound 60 trade credit or something so i'm gonna stick it in the collection i'm gonna keep that because it is nice and complete anyway uh this one was I think it was £1.50, and I didn't already have this. It is Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. I played Super Monkey Ball in the past on the, the uh, GameCube. Proper fun games, so I thought I'd grab that. Nice condition and complete. Um, this one... Let me try to think. I'm trying to remember the prices now. I'm sure I got this for like two quid. Might have been a quid or two quid. I've got that much stuff, can't remember the prices. But it is Sonic Generations. I'm sure it does return about six quid CX trade. It has held up fairly well. So, grab that. Uh, got this for a fiver. Lego Jurassic World. I think, to be fair, if I'd have got it for the Xbox One, I would have kept it. But I'm not too big on PS4. Only for the exclusives that I play. 
because I, I am mainly an Xbox gamer. But anyway, CX Return of Tenor, so I've doubled my money on that. Not too bad. Lego games always hold up really well. Um, these were really cool. So these are the Horizon Zero Dawn um, art cards. I don't know if they were special pre-order maybe. I'm not sure if they came with a pre-order or maybe an, a more expensive edition. But she just wanted a quid for these. So I thought that was really nice. It was too nice to leave to be honest. So yeah, I'll probably either um, pop these on eBay or um, sell them at a show I reckon. Because to be honest, I am accumulating quite a few things. Um, I think I really need to do my own stall at Doncaster one time. I really should do the Doncaster Video Games Market. Um, yeah, because I've got quite a few bits that I could like stall out with. But it's like, I don't feel like I've quite got enough. I'd have to accumulate a little bit more if I wanted to stall out, to be fair. But yeah, you may see me. I hold the TV stall near you. You may see it in the future sometime. I do really need to, to be honest. So this next one, I don't think I captured this on the footage because it was near the end of the booty. But I got a black Nintendo DS and it actually works fine and everything with the charger. Um, obviously, you can see it's got stickers on, um, but it's overall really nice condition. There's no deep scratches or anything. It just needs a really nice clean up, which I haven't had a chance to do yet. Oh, ice cream man. Bro, can't you see I'm doing a pickups video? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You you switched the siren off. So yeah, luckily, um, this came with a charger. Charger was all there. And the guy, what a legend. He said, I've already charged it up a bit, um, you know, to show that it works. So I switched it on and everything. It's all fine. So you know, if, if you bring a handheld console and you've already charged it to show the people, you'd a real MVP. You'd a real MVP if you charge that. I have so much respect for that man, seriously. Because <laughs> it is literally in it 99.9% .9 of the time. Oh, I didn't think to charge it before I came here. So the only thing, it is just missing the stylus, but it's no biggie anyway. I'll just grab one off eBay. I reckon I might keep this for the collection just for display or whatever. I mean, it's only a fiver. And then obviously it just needs the uh, the stickers removing. Or I could just sell it as a special edition. Toy Story 4 DS <laughs> with the new movie coming out. But yeah, uh, not bad for a fiver anyway. Saw so these at a later stall. Can't remember if I captured these or not. But there was basically two boxes. I've separated these uh, trading cards into separate piles for now. But there were two boxes like this, full. And uh, the woman wanted two quid each. Two quid for each box. So basically, these are the Harry Potter um, trading card game. Let me show you the... That's what the backs look like anyway. So you guys might have maybe owned these at some point. I used to have these as a kid. Um, I never completed the set or anything. But yeah, there is a full set here. How lucky is that? So I was absolutely buzzing with that. Because um, I've been looking through them and it's been bringing back nostalgia and everything. So there's 116 cards in this main set. So they're all in order and everything. So I've popped them in here. And then, yeah, I didn't realise, but there's, there is actually a, a Quidditch-like expansion. I don't know if it's Quidditch Cup expansion pack. And there is a set of 80 cards. Um, so they did actually have a list of what was missing in here. Um, so there is about about 16 cards missing from the set so they're the only ones I need um, to complete this set so not bad at all um, yeah there are some on eBay but quite a few are like from international sellers and they're like they want like a few quid per card so it'd be a bit of a dare do so yeah maybe um, hopefully grab some on my travels so I'm now on the hunt for some quidditch cup expansion pack trading cards to uh complete this set that's the problem i pick things up and i need to complete the full sets don't i but yeah i've got the uh full set of obviously the main trading card game which is awesome also in these was um this is buffy the vampire slayer season 5 premium trading cards um yeah the set for season 5 so there's 90 in total and they're all here it is a full set I used to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer years ago. I absolutely loved it. My uncle got me into it. I thought she was awesome. Sarah Michelle Gellar, though. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they don't really appeal to me like the trading cards. So, I have popped them on eBay. Um, I think they're like around a tenner or best offer or something. They're not highly valuable, unfortunately, even for a full set. But, I've obviously, I've seen some that have sold. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we might have a bit of luck on a bit of profit on them. Can put them towards, obviously, an eBay gaming pickup. And then these ones... They were all the doubles of the Harry Potter trading card game set. So there's a load of doubles there. So I may put them on as like a job lot. Um, but there are some like shiny ones. Like some of the rarer ones. Of like uh, 
characters like Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, all that lot. So there are some, like, more, you know, rarer kind of ones. So I might put them on maybe separately or something. So, yeah, probably pop them on eBay as well. So a couple of random plush pickups. I've got the Mickey Mouse Steamboat one, and I've got the uh, Mickey Mouse... I think it's like... I thought it was like Fantasia, because he looks like kind of how he was in the Fantasia game or something, the, the front cover, but... Yeah, it's, I think it's like Mickey the Sorcerer or something like that. So these go for around like a tenner or 15-ish on eBay. Price are a little bit all over. So stuck them on and then put a best offer there as well. So hopefully have some luck on eBay with these. I'll show you a couple of screenshots right now. I sold the um, the like more, I think it's quite a retro-ish Gizmo Necker, um like plush toy thing. Um, I got that for 50p. I sold that for like 15, which is really cool. And uh, I uh, got them pack of five sealed vhs tapes i also sold them for like 14 quid so not too bad four quid postage to obviously pay on each of them and then obviously what i originally paid minus off and then the rest is all profit towards you know gaming bits off ebay so it's really cool so yeah this guy had a load of xbox 360 games i've got a couple of special edition ones there was three quid each so i didn't mind too much so these are call of duty modern warfare 2 the hardened edition it is one of my favourite Call of Duty, it possibly is my favourite between this one and World at War. I do love the Call of Duty games. I know obviously loads of people think they've got daft now, but I do still like them anyway. But you can't beat these back in the day, especially the online lobbies. Oh wait, the amount of 12 year old boys in the Call of Duty lobbies that said that they'd slept with my mum. <laughs> it truly hurt me. <laughs> the good old days. So in this you get... What is it? Call of Duty Classic full game download code. I don't know if this has been used or not. I haven't double checked yet, but I will check anyway, see if I can use it. It'll always be a bonus. And then with this, there is the behind the lines, the art of Modern Warfare 2. So you've got like your... Oh, I bloody love the artwork. It's a gorgeous looking game for the time it was made. So you've got all your, your characters and all that. Concept art for the some of the maps in there. And then there's like the weapons at the back. Proper call. I don't miss the bloody noob tube. Remember the noob tubes on them? Noob tubing online. Absolute shocking. Used to make me rage back in the day. So I don't know if this might be missing like a, a cardboard sleeve cover. I'm not too sure because there is a little bit of space inside there. I'm not too sure. So it would be a shame if it is kind of missing it. If there was one originally. But still, for three quid, I didn't mind that getting the hardened edition. I'm sure that probably has a bit of CEX credit in it, I reckon. The other one I got was Gears of War 2 Limited Edition. This is the outside sleeve. So with this, you get the behind-the-scenes concept art book. You get a bonus DVD with behind-the-scenes footage, galleries, design, promo videos, all that lot. And then there is a, a keepsake photo in there of, who is it again? Dom and Maria Santiago. So yeah, this one has like a cardboard sleeve to keep them in. So... Like I say, I didn't know if that one might have been missing. I'm not too sure. But this is a really gorgeous special edition. This is lovely, this one. So a really nice steelbook case for the game and the uh, bonus DVD. And there is the art book with the keepsake photo of Dom and Maria. Gorgeous artwork this is. So nice. I'll show you for a few of the pages. Yeah, I think Gears of War 2 is possibly my favourite. I absolutely loved the Gears games. When I played them back in the day, they generally blew me away. Absolutely fantastic games for the time they were made. Like, it, they were just so different. They literally blew me away. I'll never forget that level on Gears of War 2 where you go in, like, that giant, like, worm thing. It's like a giant worm creature. And uh, you get to, like, go to, like, the, all the, the cardiac system. You see it's beating heart and everything. You see all the coronary arteries and veins, like, coming out of it. And then you get to, like, slash it with a chainsaw. It's absolutely. I was fangirling. So good. Because as some of you may know, I am, like, a trainee paramedic. So uh, anything medical, I'm an absolute sucker for it. I thought it was absolutely incredible. So, yeah, that is one of my best memories of this game. So it was a gorgeous limited edition, that is. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, on to the second booty pickups. So we got some pretty decent stuff at this one. Some nice uh, bit of trade fodder and all that. So yeah, first thing I saw 
I saw this box is a bit beaten up and everything. So he wanted a quid. Um, he has not got the game inside or anything. So it's just got obviously the. Uh, Oh, the box is so beat up. I need to sort it out. It really needs some TLC, but I can make it look good again. I can do it. It'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, he just obviously had the Mario Kart wheel. So I said, will you do... Um... Oh, my bad. He said he wanted two quid. I said, will you do a quid? Because um, it hasn't got the game in. So he said, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'd already own a Mario Kart in my collection. So um, it'd be pretty cool to obviously put that in here, I reckon. So just so I've got, like, a nice uh, box Mario Kart Wii set. So... Really nice. I couldn't leave the box behind. I had to pick it up. I don't remember buying this at all, but I do pick up the odd PSP games, uh, mainly exclusives and some games that I will genuinely enjoy playing. So, yeah, I am a fan of the series. It is Midnight Club 3 DUB Edition, or Dub Edition, whatever you want to say. So, it's all really nice and complete with manual. So, I thought I'd pick that up. I'm sure if I did pick it up, it probably would have been like a quid or something. Yeah. I, I don't even remember. My, my brain's got all foggy. I'll try to remember that. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a random one. Um, but State of Decay 2. I've not played this one, but I played the first State of Decay. Um, I really enjoyed it at the time. So this is just a special edition soundtrack sampler. So it's just a bit of the soundtrack. Some of the tracks on there. So I just thought I'd pick it up, to be fair. Actually, I think I got this for 50p, I think. I'm sure it was the kid said a quid, and I, I was just really cheekily batted it down. Because um, I just said, you know, it's not the game, it's just the soundtrack. I'm sure I got it for 50p or a quid. Can't remember, I think I batted it down, though. So, yeah, these next couple of um, PS1 demos they were. I got them for, I think it was £1.50, because I think they wanted a quid each. I think I managed to bat it down, I think anyway so a couple of ps1 demos which i haven't already got this was a wicked game this was legacy of kane's soul reaver i played that a lot as a kid i've not actually played it um god not for years i do own it though so yeah some uh, nice little games on there i'll show you guys i've not played some of these roll cage oh bug's life what an absolute classic there's a net your rosy game on there there's driver as well so that looks like a pretty nice demo this next one it's got 11 playable demos as you can see looks pretty wicked that let's have a look Tomb Raider 1 2 Tekken 2 Gran Turismo Colin McRae Cooler World Cooler Hudders 2 Dead or Alive Circuit Breakers that that's a nice little hidden gem Circuit Breakers I enjoyed that as a kid Bomberman World Rocks and Gems what a wicked Eurosa game absolutely loved Rocks and Gems that's absolutely wicked that's a right little cracking demo disc that is guys that really is not sure if I should really take that off or not. It's kind of ripped a bit at the back, but I don't know. Undecided. <laughs> sure, I got these two for pound fifty though. Yeah, it looks like a reseller's stall, this one. Um, yeah, I've not really seen it before. Looks like a reseller's one. It's a shame because uh, he had some decent games, but the prices were so high. Uh, there was a game on DS that I really wanted. It's Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I'm sure there's a Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2. I think it was just... I'm sure it was just the first one I wanted, because he had the second one, but it was clearly like... I'm sure it was like a fake American one, or like a printed American cover and stuff. But, yeah, it was just the first one I wanted, and um, he said he wanted eight quid, and I was like, oh, Yeah, I was a bit gutted at that. I did say to him, I said, will you take a fiver? And he said no. Firmly said no. No room for haggling whatsoever, so really annoying that because i would have i would have paid a fiver tops because it was for the collection but yeah cex sell it for like eight quid i think seven or eight quid um so yeah really annoying it's awful when you see a game that you really want for your collection but they just price it up way too high for a car boot you know you shouldn't be having shouldn't be having them kind of prices at the car boot this next one i think i got this for like a quid i got it off um the regular game store that's there it's gonna need a bit of um bit of sorting out because it's got some stickers on like the inlay and stuff but it's fine we've got this i've got some um this is a really good label remover i don't know if i've showed it to you guys i can't remember it's called label clean it's really really good this i think Stu recommended this to me so yeah it's always worked really well for me there so i would recommend it if you guys are after a label remover so this is called v2000 it just looked so random like on the back it just looked uh really random and fun um so yeah, it looks all like uh, spacey, futuristic-y or something. 
So it says, uh, turn the alien possessed creatures against each other. Use your brains and your bombs to stop the virus from destroying your worlds. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know, just a, just a random uh, cheap PS1 game pick up this one. Looks all right. Um, got this one, but I think I've kind of got like a Jap version of it. I think, um, yeah, this is not tradable to CX, but I think I might be able to make a bit of a profit um, on the on eBay possibly. So it is God of War Collection on the PS3. I don't know which ones are in it. I don't know if it's the first and second one or something. Oh yeah, it says God of War One and Two on a single Blu-ray disc, remastered for HD resolution, gameplay at 60 frames per second. Yeah, so. Yeah, a lot of it is in English, but there's uh, loads of Jack writing on the back. So don't think CX will take that. I don't think that barcode will come through, but I'm sure it's not too bad for a bit of trade credit, this. So might try it, but I can't see that barcode uh, coming in anyway, to be fair. So I think um, probably be an eBay sell this one. <laughs> oh, this next one. Always stoked to pick up merch of this guy at the car boots. And it's happening a lot this car boot season. I know who will freaking appreciate this pickup load my man who comments on all my videos damien g unit respect brother boss g unit g, -g, -g, -g unit yeah man you will appreciate this man eminem presents the re-up <laughs> it's got all sorts on it it's got like obi trice d12 50 cent on it absolutely wicked i was buzzing to pick this up i really was i actually listened to it um on the way home in the car I was absolutely buzzing with that. Eminem the re-up. I've heard of it before. I've never actually heard the music that's on it. Some wicked stuff on this. Awesome this. It was in a box um, and it said everything 20p. And I saw it sticking out. I was like, what a fine for 20p. Especially because I'm a big fan of Slim Shady. So absolutely buzzing with that. Damien G Unit. I hope you appreciate this pickup, man. I know you will for sure. So this next one is the Simpsons game on the DS. I'm genuinely sure it picks up six quid it's anywhere between four and six quid i think but i'm sure it's six um ended up getting it for two quid so it's not a bad little cx fodder this one um on the xbox 360 it's even better i'm sure it gets about eight quid somewhere around that or even a tenner or something but yeah the ds1 isn't a bad little trade fodder either this one's wicked guys this one's really cool so this woman had some like random xbox 360 games and stuff i found like uh it was like the Sega Mega Drive uh, collection on the Xbox 360, but opened it, no disc. Uh, there was quite a few with like no discs in, unfortunately. But I spotted this, Xbox One game, Zoo Tycoon. She wanted 50p and it's sealed as well. So that's absolutely wicked. So I do know that CX give like eight quid trade, I think, but I'm debating whether to keep it in the collection. So I'm having to think for the minute. But yeah, 50p for a sealed Xbox One game, absolutely wicked. Next one is a DVD box set. It is Harry Potter the Complete 8 Film Collection. I already own this myself. I would um, eventually like the Blu-ray set. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I already own this DVD set. It's got all the movies I've checked. All the discs are absolutely fine. They wanted a fiver for it. And um, I did think it, it'd get a bit more at CX. But you do get 9 quid trade. So I've almost like doubled my money. So not too bad there with the Harry Potter DVD box set. Uh, these next ones... Um, yeah, you'll you'll think you'll think Holster, why have you picked up a, a football game? Can't remember if I had this one or not, but genuinely love this one. It is FIFA Street for the Xbox 360. You won't beat FIFA Street when that first came out on PS2. It was absolutely we was all blown away by it because it it was genuinely it was just not a thing at the time, was it? Um, you don't get a manual because you just don't anymore, do you? You just get the uh, awful little bits of paper and what have you. So yeah, couldn't remember if I picked it up again or not. I really can't remember and uh, I know CEX sell it for about three or four quid and I just can't be bothered um, picking that up for that price. I'd only pay a quid max, you know, for a FIFA game. So yeah, genuinely enjoyed this one and I want to play it again. So that's why I picked it up, just in case I don't have it. So I was happy to see it. Um, these next couple, I honestly can't remember how much I got them for. I don't know if it could have been a quid each or two quid each or something. So yeah. Nice CX trade fodder. I picked these up loads in in my previous videos this year, this car boot season. Loads of copies of this especially, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm sure I've been getting somewhere around six quid trade for it. I don't know if it might have gone down to four or might be fluctuating between four and six. But yeah, it's still not bad for trade, so I picked that up. And also GTA 5 for the Xbox 360. 
and miraculously, I mean it doesn't have the manual or the map, but miraculously it has both of the discs, has both the install one and the play one, which is awesome. Always got to check guys, always got to check, because like, like I say, usually they only have like the install disc and not the play disc, so bonus that it had both discs. So the last pick up I will show you guys is a modern game. So, you know that I sometimes dabble in my modern games as well. I do obviously prioritise my retro collecting. Some new releases I do buy straight away, like the odd Switch game, like I got Yoshi's Crafted World. Um, I've also got Division 2 on the Xbox One. So this one I picked up, it was priced at, you know, pretty much the going rate, like the full price, but it was with CEX trade credit, so it really didn't cost me that much, so didn't mind at all. So this is a, a modern gaming exception. That I bought my CX credit because usually I obviously prioritise my retro. But yeah, I got the almighty Shakiro Shadows Die Twice. And yeah, it is solid as well. The uh, the disc in it is currently in my Xbox for whenever I get the bravery to go back to it. Yeah, I'm actually not even kidding. It is pretty solid. Um, you, you've really got to get used to like, the combat and the timing and everything. Because one blow with one of them katana swords and you're gone. You can just get wiped out in one hit. I'm sure that happens on Bushido Blade as well. I'm sure it um, as it's like a little bit of similarities to them because I'm sure they can wipe you out in one hit. But yeah, I was like this before when I was watching gameplay when I really wanted it before I bought it. And I thought, yeah, I will be getting it, whatever. I'd just be sat here, right, watching them die continuously. And I'd just sit here just going, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I can do that. <laughs> You know when you sit and chill and watch playthroughs and you think you could easily smash that? No, I take my hats off to you guys and girls for doing the playthroughs and whatever. I do really love the gameplay, I love the way it flows when you're climbing, when you're using the grappling tool and everything. And it is satisfying, especially on the bosses when you land that death-defying blow, that that one that gets them. Yeah, so I'd say prepare for a lot of deaths, but it is a very enjoyable game once you get into it and get used to the combat. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the latest pickups video. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for my bit of ranting about CX, but had to be said, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you've had any nightmare experiences recently with them. But it just really frustrated me. It's really frustrating, like, obviously as a collector, as a trader, when you want to trade things in to accumulate that credit and you're walking out with not enough credit that you should have had. So yeah, it's been really frustrating at the moment. So massive thank you to all you guys who always watch my videos every week. Um, yeah, and thank you to the new subscribers and everything. It, subscribe account has been climbing up loads. So it's so nice to see that my videos are reaching out to more and more people. And I'm so glad um, to see more comments that you're enjoying the videos and everything. So yeah, it's an absolute pleasure, guys, to make these videos and take you along with me. And like I said... At this last weekend's car boot, I actually got recognised by three people at my local. It's crazy. Uh, this one guy, um, I, I didn't get anyone's names, but shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for stopping and talking to me. It's a, honestly an absolute pleasure to talk to you guys who watch the channel. So there's a guy who uh, is a trader who uh, specialises more in antique stuff, but he said he does pick up the odd gaming bits and he'll let me know, obviously. Uh, whenever he has some stuff so thank you for that man there was an older gent who approached me and uh, he said to me my grandkids watch you and it's like oh wow <laughs> so it's crazy to know that i have viewers and subscribers of all ages and also shout out to simon and andrea i think it is i might have got the name completely wrong but i'm trying to go by memory i'm sure that's what it was but yeah the trader guy said um he told me the names he said oh they're a really nice couple ebay resellers but they there was really nice so uh, yeah so she approached me and said uh, i like your channel so thanks so much for that compliment really appreciate it and good luck with your car boot hunting as well guys Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you all so much, as always. So until next time, happy cow booting and video game hunting. I will see you in a bit, guys. Take care.